<laughs> All righty, the four-wheel drive podcast driven by Shelter. We are back music by the Southern Drew Band, Let It Ride. Socials, the four-wheel drive podcast on Instagram. All their episodes over on uh, Backchat. And thank you to our Patreons. If you want to get over and help us out, keep the show ticking along nicely, Ronnie. Jump on to uh, patreon.com forward slash the four-wheel drive podcast. We would really appreciate it. Mate, we have found ourselves in some new digs again. I'm speechless. There is just so many new things happening at the uh, at the podcast, at the Full Drive podcast and back chat. Um, we're in a new room in the castle that we that we call home. We're in a blue room. Um, do you guys say castle or castle? Castle. Okay, castle. Sorry about that. Castle. Do you say um, castle? I say castle. Yeah, yeah. Is is that a you thing is that, or nah, is that another Victorian thing? Uh, it might be thing. like a bit of a me thing slash like the area from Victoria because I don't reckon all Victorians call oh. it castle. But I think a lot of us call it castle around castle. my area. Yeah. It's like a posh area, is it? Nah, it's. No, it's not. Nah, it's just like a Western uh, Vic thing, I reckon. Okay. It could be wrong. A, a I could, be just, could be so just weird. Me. I suppose in a posh area, it's a palace, not a castle. Well, we've got Castle Main. Is it like a town in Vic that we call Castle Main? I'm pretty sure the locals call it Castle Main. Correct me if I'm wrong, for if you're from Castle Main. I'm pretty hey, sure you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not from there. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> no, it, it is nice though. We've got a great little... Purpose-built four-wheel drive podcast room. You've got a TV, mate. You've got a TV with some stuff coming up soon. A third camera. Third camera, so we're always – you can't get away with much now. So and, Well, you, you can. You can. I'm wearing Speedos. <laughs> I didn't tell you I about would, the fourth camera under I would the table, not be, mate. I would not be sitting near you in your Speedos right now. <laughs> Although I do get around in my Speedos quite a bit, uh, being a footballer. We spend a lot of time in the ice bins, and I'm not wearing my bathers every time we go in there. So <laughs> the Speedos are a good thing. Do you own a pair of Speedos? I don't. Oh, you I don't are missing a, out. Oh, when I was younger, but no, missing not anymore. Missing out, mate. So after the ice bath, you'd probably wrap a towel around yourself, right? Because, you know. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah I know You, you get mean. a lot of shrinkage you're out of it. De- you're definitely wrapping the <laughs> towel straight <laughs> around. <laughs> and, yeah, you are. You know, you just you jump in the sauna afterwards. All right, we're going off track. Oh, where, mate. Where, where are we going? On the radar is where we're going. We've got a couple of things to cover Ooh, on the yes. radar now. Our latest segment, I keep saying it, it's not that. It's not that um, new anymore, is it? We're sort of we're no, used to this now. But but we're running two radars today. We're running three. We're ru- oh, three yeah. radars! Wow. Yep, yep. Shock! You haven't looked at the run sheet. But we're yeah. actually so the run first sheet? one. <laughs> <laughs> the first one I want to go on is this is a little thing that um, my dad alluded me to this morning, um, and I thought, Dad, what what's this all about? Like, give us give us a little bit more. I need to know what what's actually going on here because he sent me a photo I didn't really know what it was it just looked like a little bit of merch sort of stuff well, this sounds intriguing man it was because as I got the phone call from dad now if we can bring it up Jaden oh it's the called, TV it's Ooh. called the, yeah the TV the standard squeeze now is that it, a two stroke oil bottle it looks like it doesn't it and it's the same it's the same con- concept really so it's called standard squeeze and it came about when a dad and a son who loved four wheel driving fishing and camping were trying to work out how they can keep track of their drinks while around the campfire to avoid the fuzzy head in the morning um, and obviously you want to be you know be able to drive and or, you know drive a boat whatever it is keep track sometimes it's a little bit hard there's no waste if you do it this way as well they've got like a tumbler um, as well that you can sort of drink out of too uh, lightweight easy to store no environmental damage and when you leave the campsite, there's uh, sorry, there's no environmental damage when you leave the campsite. Um, ripping blokes solving other campers' problems. So Dad was a big fan of this one himself because I don't know if he wrote that or uh, the standard squeeze fellas did. But um, how many meals in the top there? Usually yeah, so they've got. I think they've, meal, isn't it? Yeah, well they've got different sizes, so they've got um they've got like <laughs> they've got you'd like this actually. They've got the mini, the original, the XL, the double shot, the big no shot. <laughs> Oh, they've yeah. got packs. They've got it all. They're, I think they're coming out with some, um, with other uh, like a. They're coming out with some bottle, like you know, water bottles or whatever as well. They've got the tumblers. They've got some other merch going on. Got a really great website. Um, there's there's a lot of different sizes on that website. Yeah, there is. Yeah. So the standard squeeze, just a little on the radar um, plug squeeze. for these guys. So that's something that I've never seen. And obviously, it's a you know, if you're carrying your spirits around in glass bottles, four wheel drive, and you're hitting the tracks, it's it's a pretty dangerous combo with those uh, rolling around in the back. So this way they they stay safe. You know how much you're um, you're consuming and um, what, why reusable. Did we, why did we let Duggar start with that one? Like, how how am I going to? Yeah, you I, can't really gonna... top that, can you? It's a good little concept, isn't it? I don't mind. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's bloody great. Like this is. I've you, actually you... got something that might be able to top it. Really? Are you... Well, can I go the next? <laughs> <thing>? No, <laughs> yeah, you, you're going it. last, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually well, Duggo. Yep. 
you've got the new Ranger Raptor. I have. Oh, I have. Did you hear about that? Yes. Did you hear about that? I got the I new heard Ranger. You talk Ra- about it. I got the new thing. Raptor. Yeah. The so new you, Ranger you went ahead Raptor. and ra- did, you did the Raptor thing. No, I got the new Ranger Raptor. You know the Raptor. Oh, what you got the new nah, Ranger? I'm just, what? I just Raptor coded it. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is live, <laughs> not live moving like you thought. This is uh, this is photos throughout today. That's how I brought the car in. That's obviously sanded back there and and ready to uh, to wrap the coat. But at the moment, I've got to duck off after this to to pick up the oh, the car with the wrap yeah, coat right. through the tub and through the and on the bull bar too. I went the I went it over the um the bull bar as well. So Nicely done. that's over at uh, wrap coating WA in Osborne Park at the moment. What, getting did the you little knock tidy that up. stuff off the bull bar already? Because I don't remember it being like that. Or did they scuff it? No, nah, they stick? they do all that. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah, okay. all all in a, all in a day for them as well. So they'll key it all. So um, sticks to it. Yeah, I, it was uh, really yeah. Great fella, Ash. There, easy to deal with. Um, met went in last week. He got me in this week, and I reckon it looks. I can't see the rest of the car, but it looks awesome. I reckon. I can't wait to um to see the finished product. It looks very good. And now you're up. All right. Here we go, Roddy. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. All right, guys. So um, have you got photos as well for the group? <clears throat> I don't. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> you can serious? find one, though. Are you What's about, he doing? Are you serious about it on I the radar? I didn't know he had a TV. look at the run sheet. He did, actually. That's true. He didn't know he oh, had a TV. Wow. I, I rang Jaden on the way, and he's like, oh, there's TV on the way. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I right. told him there was a new TV. Yeah. I told him we are on a new oh, set. There you All go. Right. Well, hang on. Well, on the, oh, you're waiting? You, you found something? No. Okay. On the radar? Oh, yeah, the new version Ooh. of that. But there's more to it than that. So the... FJ is coming back. Right. It's coming I back. Like, I like the whole... That's a cool photo. Yeah, I, I guess that's what uh, Jono would use to claim that this is a Land Cruiser, right? <laughs> kind of ruins it a little bit if you ask me, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. They could have it's like a they put a color, toy right? car in amongst all these yeah, real cars. Yeah, probably could have gone a different colour. It could have gone a different colour. Anyway. Right. So here's the thing that I wasn't happy about, though. Toyota have registered the name Land Cruiser FJ, Ooh. which means it the... the FJ is a land cruiser. Does it settle it, does it? Well, this would probably unsettle it uh. after you think it's settled because <laughs> what's happening is the new FJ is coming. It's four and a half meters long. It's 1.8 wide. It's 1.8 tall. So it's almost like a cube, but it's not a cube. That makes sense. It's a very tall car for a small car. But the thing is, it's, it's got a 2.5 litre petrol hybrid electrical engine. Right. It's the same engine that's in the RAV4. Really? So basically... This, so, oh, so this isn't the new... This is not this the new one. This isn't the new one. Oh, so it looks different to this. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. sorry. So it's not the new one. Um, you can say it hasn't you, changed. You'll be able to find it. A uh, new Land Cruiser FJ. You'll be able to find it. Um, do I have to type in Land Cruiser or... <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh. Otherwise, it comes up with FJ. Reluctantly. <laughs> Reluctantly. John O's one, boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. John O's one. Here's the thing, right? So, uh, I think it's like 263 uh, kilowatts. Uh, newton, oh, that was newton meters. I think it was 160 kilowatts or something like that. So, it's, it's going to be a little pocket rocket. But, because it's replacing the, um, the RAV4, it's, it's likely going to be an all-wheel drive. Oh, okay. Because I looked up the system of the RAV4 and the RAV4, if you have the hybrid version, the battery and the electrical motor sits in the rear and drives the rear of the car. So while, you're, while it's in petrol mode, it uses the front. While it's in all-wheel oh. drive mode, it uses the back. So it's kind of like and a... And that, that's in the current RAV4. Yeah, that's... So I've just put up the, a photo yeah. behind Ooh, you. That looks like got. a RC vehicle. Wow. It does. I mean, that's that, futuristic. That, that could kind of be a bit of AI in that, but I'm not too sure. I mean, mm. It does look like a photo, but you can't trust anything these days. Can like you? That looks tiny. The, it's like, it yeah, looks like the, the space between the... You should see the back of it. The back of it looks really... I, I'm going to have to say it. It looks really ugly. It might, it might grow on me, but yeah. it looks really ugly. But if it is a four-wheel drive and they keep it as a four-wheel drive and not an all-wheel drive, I, I would drive the shit out of that thing. I reckon it'd be fun as... Yeah, right. It'd be a little pocket rocket, yeah. I say if it was a, it was a four wheel drive rather than all wheel drive, you'd be yeah. happy with that new hybrid engine in it. Yeah, I reckon it'd be, not, it'd be, it'd be something fun different to drive around. Yeah. yeah, otherwise you'd have to just cane it on the beaches and and the dunes. Is, is that is that what you're telling me it's going to look like? Because that looks different to that. No, that's 
Is there's that... a few. There's a few things getting kicked around. There's a few okay. illustrations yeah, so and stuff. Yeah, it's not but nothing it's, final. It's going to look more like that. Because I don't mind that. I don't like that. Yeah. I know people can't see what I'm looking at, but it's different. It it is different. It's very it's very different. Wow. So you okay? So that interests me that you're excited by the hybrid engine potentially. Yeah, if it I mean, sticks it's, with it's, an all, oh, sorry, if yeah. it sticks with the four wheel drive. There you go. Look at that. Ooh. So, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. So I'm I'm excited that there's finally like a hybrid four wheel drive by Toyota being released because I mean hybrid cars have been around for ages. Yeah. But, but not as in like a, a released four wheel drive. Yeah. Um, hmm. Which I think is really cool, but I think it's going to be all-wheel drive, boys. One and a half ton towing capacity, but you wouldn't you wouldn't buy that to tow with anyway. Nah. It's meant to rival the Jimny, and I guess some other smaller cars as well. Do you know price? No idea. Twenty twenty five, I reckon, okay. it's coming out. So, but I'll be keeping a close eye on it. Yeah, right. Because I really want to know more, but yep. not many people know a lot of information on it. Like I had to go, I had to extract this from so many places. Yep. So Honest opinion, are you, are you a current fan of the, uh, sorry, are you a fan of the current FJ Cruiser? Uh, not really. Okay. I, I wouldn't own one. I yep. wouldn't buy one. I definitely think that'll be awesome fun to drive around with. Yep. Unladen, like no load on it. Yeah. Cane around in, in the dunes and stuff like that. Yep. That'll be good fun. But just practicality and all that, it's, it's kind of like, you know, people who buy a Jeep, you either love it or you hate it. Yep. And I think that's with the FJ. I don't hate it. I just, it's not something that I would. Yeah, okay. It's yep. not my forte. Yep, that's fair um, enough. So I like the bigger Land Cruisers or Utes. Um, I like patrols, stuff like that, bigger stuff. Yep. But when it comes to small stuff, like I actually like the little Jimny. They look fun. So it's either, it's either a little toy or well, it's a big rig. Yeah, okay. I yeah. don't really sit in between. Yeah, fair enough. I wonder how it'll go, the, the new one in 2025, if the, um, the vehicle efficiency standards are all in at that time. I wonder if that will be, I think be under the... I think that's why it's one of those things. Okay. Yeah, yeah right. Makes because, sense. Yeah, because without going into this emission thing too much, because we need, yeah, yeah. I need to do a lot more research on yeah, this. Yeah, same. And it's not even set in stone it's going to come out. Like uh, Albanese said something today. Um, I think he was criticising it. I didn't. Re- I just caught, yeah, you know, just caught tail of that. Yep. But the thing is, Toyota uh, are basically saying if it comes in, they're going to not do diesel engines at all anymore. And Isuzu, they've only got two models here in Australia, right, of, of passenger cars, yeah. and they're like, well, we're out, we're out, we're stuff out. it. It's not okay. worth. It's, it's not worth the hassle for two cars that we have in our lineup in Australia. Yeah, right. Yeah. Wow. So oh, the new the new FJ Land Cruiser on the radar for 2025. Yeah. So, it's a pretty good on the radar. Yeah, it's good detail off the top of your head too. Just yeah, oh, the... mate, I was under pressure, mate. I had the top bloody <laughs> standard top, squeeze. Yeah. Top of you. Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't top the standard, standard squeeze. squeeze. I think there's a standard, standard squeeze. squeeze. I think there's a standard yeah. squeeze on its way over. Ooh. So we can have it. We can have a little. Might be able to have a little. Hopefully, there's three. Swig, just a little swig of shelter, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Ronnie's, you know, we're just we're looking at we got to drive, so yeah, maybe the point five shelters. Yeah. yeah, beautiful, good, good choice. All right, let's move on to the main topic of today, which we haven't mentioned just yet, which is roof racks. Now, the can of worms. The can of worms. The can of worms. Yeah, to you, I don't think many people would consider roof racks to be a can of worms, but the detail that you go into on these and mm. or I suppose what you what you know and the different um, regulations around roof racks and capacities and all of that the words I don't even know that you're going to use I don't know what I'm meant to use it's the misleading stuff yeah so you, you yeah. said to Jaden basically don't need a run sheet for this mate no I'm going to I'm going to go for it. So, But he says that every episode mate. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, yeah he doesn't know there is one but um, yeah, let, let's get started where you want to get started because this is something that okay. you've brought to the table. Yeah, so I think the best way to start this is to bring up an example. Yep. I'll bring up the most ridiculous example there is a Suzuki Jimny. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a three-door or a five-door. The roof load that it can, you know, that it can have, the rated capacity of a Suzuki Jimny is 30 kilos. A, so that's roof load capacity is yep. 30 kilos. It's 30 kilos. Not the, the roof rack's capacity. 
No, no. So the roof rack on my 76 yep. weighs a touch over 30 kilos right? without brackets. So one would assume that a similar bracket, which I know some people that have as well, the exact same roof rack, smaller version obviously, but that would at least weigh 15 kilos. Yeah. One would imagine, right? Yeah. Then you've got your brackets. you got, let's just be generous and say, hey, you've got 15 kilos capacity left. Yeah, yep. Awning, you're over. Swag, you're over. You can't put anything up there. And people make roof racks for the car, which I feel is misleading. Yeah, so that's an interesting... You got, oh, well, it's, just, it's just for show, right? Why make a roof rack for a Jimny? Yeah, so if a manufacturer knows that the car, the car's roof load yeah. doesn't actually... The, yeah. Like that, and they make a 23 kilo roof rack, say, for the Jimny. Like, say, there is a 23 yeah. kilo roof rack out there for the Jimny, another it's just, brand. It's just silly. Yeah, okay. It's, it it kind of tells you that they're making a product to make money um, regardless of what people know. Will they tell you that? No. When you purchase well, the. It's up to you because every single website you see, because I did a lot of research on this just because I had a bit of an issue a number of years ago. Okay where my roof rack was grossly overloaded and I had no idea. Right. Yep. So this led me to down the rabbit hole of the can of open worms and there's more than one can of worms when we talk about roof racks. Yep. And just recently I, I went through and had another look because I've seen cars with overloaded roof racks and all that and I was yep. like, you know what, this, this needs to actually be brought up again. Um, and that's why I'm glad it's actually a topic today. It's, yeah. It's, so my Hilux has a 70 had because i don't have any more 75 kilo roof rating my roof rack was 25 kilos i had 50 kilos capacity left yep i had six lights up there i had four max tracks awning um there was a number of other things i had up there as well and that put me over right uh, so there's no point it in having quick it, it goes quick let's take your ranger for example yeah your ranger has i think it's 80 kilo oh you rating. know oh cool yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah well that's the thing you can look it up you won't find yeah i was going to do that but if I'll, you I'll, won't but, find the answer oh you won't well you might find the answer but you You're can't trust be... the internet you yeah. have to go to the manufacturer right and some manufacturers they have it on their spec sheet very rarely yep others you have to like toyota you have to back calculate from their accessories wow. yeah yeah, <laughs> it's it's really stupid. Why do you reckon it's so secretive? I, I don't know. It's like they don't talk to each other. So the roof oh, rack okay. company and, and the car manufacturers, they don't... So the roof rack companies, they just say, oh, um, it's determined by roof load. You, you have to know your roof load. It's like, well, how the fuck do I find out my roof load? You go to a... For a lot of people go to a forum. Yeah, right. It's just so wrong. Um, some people claimed um, that the 300 series had a 200 kilo roof rating, Right. And oh, sorry, uh, uh, the three, yeah, 300 series had a 200 kilo roof rating. That's it outrageous. says on one of the forums. And, and I looked it up and I thought, no, nah, it will have to be 150 because the 200 is and the 76 is, it's 90. 90. It was 92 kilos to be exact. <laughs> Going by Toyota Engineering, 92 kilos. What happens when you load, so, say someone reads that, thinks that there's 200 kilos capacity on top of the, 300 series yeah and they load it up with 150 kilos thinking they're safe as houses with 50 kilos to spare what what actually happens when you drive like look you, they'll probably unless they unless they're in an accident or they're going high speed around a tight corner yeah. and they need to do evasive action or something that they nothing will probably happen but right it's those cases where something will happen yeah, yeah. but if you if you're going traveling down corrugated roads and you're going down steep inclines and you're doing proper off-roading and you've got 200 kilos up there that's it's gonna wear at your roof. Yep. It's really gonna wear at your roof. Especially if like that if they don't understand that, they probably don't understand proper tire pressures and all this other stuff. Yeah. Know? Um it's, it's pretty it's, it's a big problem. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it's it's a bloody can of worms, I'm telling you. Well I'm I'm gonna try and find out what um what the weight of my rack on top of the cab is. So if I'm going yeah. off at an eighty kilo um Sorry, I'm just trying to find this here. So let's take your car, for instance. Let's put a roof rack on it, 25 yep. kilos. Let's just say that. You got your brackets. Yep. Let's put a rooftop tent on it. Yeah. They're, they're anywhere away. from 50 kilos yeah. to 100 kilos. I had the lightest one, I reckon. That was 50. Yeah, 52 okay. 52 kilos or something was the Could lightest Could you put one. your clothes in it? Could you put your bedding in it? Nothing. Okay. Not even a blanket. So that's what you would have to have to get away with it. But then if you start putting awnings and other stuff on it, 
what are you going to do then? But see, yours might have been a bit different because yours wasn't on the roof of the car. It was on the back, right? It was on a frame. It was. It was on an aluminium, like, yeah, frame and, so that's, that's and custom it, rack. That's different again. But my, So that, that would like, that would shake though. The weight of that would sort of, and I've cracked the edge of my tub, I'm assuming because of the weight on top. Oh, that, is that where that crack was from? Yeah, I reckon it was because the Probably. area that it was in was where the, the, the canopy was mounted, like the, yeah. the frame with the roof rack on top, just shifting it back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. And I reckon that's why that Magic section is cracked and pulled apart, which we, we saw a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that, that, that's another complete um, area of engineering is like what can it hold on the back? I you don't know? think it's recommended to put anything on the back because of that yeah. exact reason. Because <laughs> yeah. like when you go over corrugations and awesome. stuff, it, your car is going to move one way and yep. your load on top is going to move a different way and yeah. it's going to like mm. put a lot of stress yeah, on those. That. Yeah. 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 That's and why I don't like tying stuff down to the front rack and to the back. Yeah. So I keep it all tied down separately. So nothing like, especially like a... Nothing's chafing and yeah, pulling. Like, and... like Jaden saying like, yeah, mm. talking well, the yeah. other way. It's one of those things, with, though, right? Like where people, like you can do it to a point, but it's just like it's recommended not to do it at all because yeah, you're gonna you're gonna damage something that you don't want damaged. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like it's not worth paying for oh, it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. And look, if if you never actually <laughs> went off road ever, you probably wouldn't have a crack there. You know yeah, I mean? that's true. Yeah, so, you know, yep. if you're on the beach and stuff, you, you're off roading. There's all these other factors involved, and and a lot of people wouldn't test their gear to this kind of stuff. Yeah, and that's what I found over the you know the, the years of testing random gear on my '79 in particular. A lot of stuff would just would just break. You know, yeah. Um, there were a few companies that gave me stuff that wasn't released yet, and I'd test it. I'll break it. I'd give them feedback, hand it back to them. I wouldn't tell anyone about it because they're asking me for feedback to test something they haven't released yet. They want to make sure it's good before, you know. Yep. So then they, they sort it out, they send it back, I try again, cool, it's all good. Yeah, right. And then, then they'll release the product sometimes. Yep, that's mm. pretty cool. I, I've found here it's 28.9, so it's basically 29 kilos. Um, that's the approximate install weight. It's still oh, a, Yeah, yeah. It's still approximate though, like... Yeah, well, yeah, they can never really factor in, can they? Because, um, yeah, it depends what you put on it and how many brackets you put on it. Yeah. Yours is a backbone, is it? Uh, does it go on the rail or have you got like it, arms? Yours goes through the, the rail. Yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I guess they're just covering their ass. And, yeah, I suppose yeah. so. And I, that's, that's what most of these companies do, you know. I mean, there's like another can of worms in there. There's, there's, there's also off-road ratings. Oh, right. Jesus. Yeah. So I wonder how many people knew about this. <laughs> no, so some some companies and one of them in particular was that was what I had in my Hilux and that's why I was grossly over, overweight because I was overweight but you, you, if, you, if I have to deduct a third of my roof rating, then I'm grossly overweight. So for example, some particular companies, um, there's, I don't know how many but there's, there's two or three of them out there. There's one that's even worse than the, than the rest. They're, they're not yep. a very big company, that one. Right. But they, they even like, I think they halve the load. Um, so if you have a roof rack on your car, one of these particular brands, and you're going off-road, while you're on the road, say, let's take the Hilux, yep. um, 25 kilo roof rack, 50 kilos worth of capacity left. Cool. I'll put a swag, I'll put this, I'll put this, I'll put this, and cool, I am five kilos away from my max load. Let's leave it at that. Yep. Because they give you margin for error. Now I'm hitting the road. Now I'm going onto a gravel road because gravel road is apparently off-road to, yeah, right. to, yeah. to these companies. Yeah. And um, all of a sudden, now I have to remove 25 kilos from my roof. Oh. So now I'll ditch some stuff into the bush and then I'm going on my trip. So no, no, one follows, <laughs> no one follows that. No one's going to do that. But that, here's the problem. Okay, so let's say something happens. Yeah, that's, this is what yeah. is This is the can of worms. Yeah, yeah. And I know for a fact, I was going to bring up one of the stories. Now, I won't say where this guy worked, but a yeah, mate of mine, he worked there and we got talking. It was around this time we had the trouble with my car. Yep. And he's like, yeah, well, you wouldn't believe what just happened. So old mate just came back with his 200. The rack bloody came loose and came off, damaged his car as well. So, and, and they were like, yeah, yeah, just, just send us some photos and we'll get it sorted under warranty. That only just put it on. They done, followed everything, yeah. instructions, put it on. They came back 
and said, well, there is, um, there's dirt on the car, so clearly it's been off-road. So he oh. has exceeded his roof capacity oh. and they didn't cover it. And um, it, had, it generally hadn't been off, it, off-road it, at all. It, no, it had. It had been on a gravel road. Oh. It had been on a gravel road. That's, that's it. And because the guy was towing as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure he was right. towing. So he would have just been on a so, gravel okay, road. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, yep. and, and the thing is, um, he, he got covered in the end, not by the roof rack business, but by the business that installed it. Because they're like, well, I, I can't just say to him, nah, sorry, mate, you went off road. Yeah. That's just bullshit. So he, he said to me, look, we, we just, we covered his bill. We painted his car. We gave him a, a different rack and right. on his way. It is, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't know anything. Like, it's actually, I'm trying to do some research as you're talking because now it, it actually makes me wonder. Yeah. Curious. It's what, just, yeah, really curious. It's because, just something that people need to be aware of, you know. Because I, I'm i looking to use my roof rack more than ever now. I've got the yeah. the new the two boxes, my Max Tracks are up there, and my swag will be up there. And I'm starting to think. You've and got, I want a light bar on there yeah. too. Okay. So <laughs> if, you got, if you're going to use I'm, it, I think I'm over. If you're going to use it for that, it's going to be very much just your, this is what I refer to as semi permanent stuff. Yep. Your roof lights, uh, your awning, and your solar, right? That's pretty much Sorry, all. Sorry, say that again. I was just I was yeah, so, clicking uh, buttons. So your forward, your forward facing roof lights, yep. if you're going to have them, yep. your camp lights, it's a good yep. place to put them. Oh, I forgot about them. I need them uh, on there too. An awning. Yes, that's all. Oh, shit. Yeah. And <laughs> let's say a solar panel, if you go, are going to do a solar panel. Yeah. It's Ooh, a good thing or, to do a solar we, panel. We go my idea on the solar panel. Well, yeah, well, we'll talk about yeah. yeah. But business. A solar panel is a good idea to put up there. Why? Because if you have a dual cab ute, you're very limited to what you, what you can do with yep. the weight. So just put a solar panel, you're not going to put anything heavy on it. And yep. You know what I mean? Yep. It's, it's a good yep. way to think about it. And that's how I would treat a dual cab ute. Otherwise, don't go roof rack at all, go roof bars. Yeah, that's a way to get around it, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So, so with root bars, you're 25 kilos better off. Yep. And you can put a kayak up there. You can put, you can keep your awning up there. Yeah. You've got less wind drag, less cost. A roof rack is two grand. Yeah. For a good one. Um, look, you can get cheaper, but then the roof rack's heavier. Yep. So the reason why a lot of people go for the more expensive roof racks that are around uh, 1,800, two and a half grand, it's a lot of money, man. Yep. For a piece of metal, but it's the lightest we can get. You can go to somewhere like Kings and get a cheaper one. They're bloody heavy, so you can put less up there. Yep. Um, it's what? You, yeah. What's your so then for people listening? What's your what's the perfect? So what's your seventy six? Say so that's a smaller. No, you don't. Oh no, the, you've got the um, seventy nine. Just put a roof rack on it though, didn't you? Yeah. Seventy six. Yeah. So seventy six has a roof capacity of one hundred and fifty kilos. Shit, does it really? Yeah. Wow. And the, and the thing that people forget, you got to deduct the roof rack. So yeah. So once as soon as that's up there, it's yeah. So I've got being generous, I've got one hundred and twenty kilo capacity on it. Right. But all I'm going to put on it is likely an awning at some stage. Uh, the max tracks that are up there, and then I've got two cargo boxes that come and yeah. go. And maybe I'll put solar on it. I probably won't actually. But that and that's similar to your Troopy setup too, isn't it? On the it's very top? very similar, That'd be similar. to, to yeah. the Troopy setup. Yeah. Now the what's the Troopy with the roof conversion? Is there a difference there? Um, <clears throat> oh, can of worms. That's a good one. That's a great question. <laughs> I don't actually know, but the guy who did the roof conversion. Yep. Didn't um, you do the rack? Didn't you did, chop the, did the rack? <laughs> didn't you chop with me? Did you do it at the Perth <laughs> yeah, Forward well, Fire Show? I, I did, but I did it with, with Daniel. He, he would know. Uh, he's gone through all the engineering to get it yeah. right and all that. Yeah. I, I do know that. Here's the other thing there's <laughs> dynamic load and then there's static load, right? So, <laughs> what we've been talking about the whole time is, is dynamic load while you're moving. Yeah. That's in motion. So, anyone who's listening to this podcast now, freaking out, going, oh, shit, what happens if I've got two people up there? As long as you're not driving, you're all good. Right. So most cars can take, you know, say in your screen here, 150 kilos dynamic load. Sitting still at camp, 420 kilos. Ah, oh, so you can on open the roof. Your, yeah, so you can open your roof tent. You can have two large people in there. Yeah, right. Yeah, as long as they don't move around too much. Yeah, we... if you get what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, surely you'd be right with 450. <laughs> a fair bit of force. Um, yeah, right. That's a. Uh, What's the Ute set up? Calculating then? it. Hey? He's calculating it. <laughs> Are you shading or me? No, I'm done calculating. I don't. I don't like that. Don't like that topic. What um, 
What's your roof uh, set up on the 79 then for... Yeah. Like, because uh, the, the ute is what a lot of people are using. I'm assuming the 79 roof capacity is, is obviously going to be more than the Ranger or the Hilux. It, it's pretty generous. It's, it's 100 kilos. Okay. Yeah. But so is the Triton or so it's not. So it's, some of these ones are hard to find. Ah, uh, okay. The new Triton is 80 kilos, I believe. The old Triton, a guy was telling me from Mitsubishi, uh, it's somewhere between 60 and 100 kilos. It's fair. I'm like, mate, that's, that's a big range. Yeah. Like, what is it? Like, you know, I was pretending to be a person to, yeah. you know, John O was pretending to be a person as well. We call heaps of places just to test them out. And, really? and honestly, it was, it was <laughs> fucking dismal. We way. should do one of those calls on here. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Like, a, not a prank call, but like just a... Yeah. Yeah, tell us you. <laughs> and if they, imagine they went really well, that'd be great marketing for them. There's a few forums on this Mitsubishi Trident that are people just like in all caps with mad cap, uh, a lot of question marks. They're just like, what's the roof load? I need to know the roof load. And there's 80 kilos. Oh. There's, a, there's one that says 100 kilos is the maximum carrying capacity, including the weight of the rack system. Yeah, Which, what's a, the rack system? Uh, It'll be the roof use, rack along with rails. everything else. Oh, like, righto, sorry. I've got something here that's like a different... Category roof rack system weights. It's hard to find. It shouldn't be that hard to find. Exactly. It shouldn't be that hard to find. So should, that should be straight there, like right. Yeah. Right in front of your face as soon as you. Mm. So we ended up. So this was only a couple of weeks ago we released this video and it's about roof racks. And at the end of it, we um, we put up the weights that we could confirm. Oh yeah. That we were willing to put our ass on the line for, more or less. I mean. We did put like a clause saying, look, this is the information we got from the manufacturers. Um, and then the ones that weren't confirmed, we put them down the bottom, like reliable source, but unconfirmed. Yeah. And how many were yeah, confirmed? Yeah, what would you have? Uh, we had 25 plus confirmed. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. But many... 25? Many, yeah. Jesus. Many dealers just couldn't answer it. Like when you, when you start working out on cars, holy crap, you realise how many cars there are. Yeah, right. And there are so many it's more. It feels like a little yeah. more. I think uh, someone got back to me about the tank 300, 50 kilos or something Ooh. dismal. Yeah, wow. right. yeah, yeah. Uh, I could be wrong though. So I could be wrong, but I just have 50 kilos in my mind. Could reason. be wrong. We're for running a, with for it. a wagon kilos. too. Like that's, yeah. you need that roof rack. You yeah. Need well, half your weight goes if you Especially put a roof with, yeah, rack on. Good point. Especially yeah. with a wagon. And, yeah. and I guess that's another thing that needs to be addressed is like, if you have a ute, unless it's, unless it's a dual cab 70, because they can take 100 kilos. Yeah. Minus the rack, um, so you got to take once you twenty kilo rack. Now you get down at eighty kilos. You always got to factor in that you got to subtract the weight of the rack. Um, but according to Toyota and Nissan, I believe, and Isuzu, if you use their roof bars, you don't have to deduct that off the roof. Oh right, yeah. so it's just like a zero mm. weight. Yeah, but I'm a bit off track here. So what I was getting to is dual cab utes, unless you have the 79 series dual cab ute which has a capacity of 100 kilos there's no point in putting a roof rack on your car if you want to load it up if you have a wagon that's where i say if you're traveling you need a roof rack yeah sure. you're gonna need a roof rack but you've got to use it wisely still and with a dual cab ute get roof bars or you can do similar to what i what i do to my dual cab utes and that's just have it almost as an ornament, but it holds the lights. It just makes it easy to tie up all your wiring and all that stuff. But it's really something you can't really use apart from your semi-permanent stuff. Awning, solar panel, lights, camp lights, that's it. Antenna. And you're probably already getting close to it, aren't you? Yeah, oh yeah you're getting really close yeah. to it. Because yeah. I was just thinking then, like I've got already... Ooh, max trucks. Yeah, max trucks. And um, all, all the mounts are sitting on there too for that. Yeah, the mounts. aren't, they're not... Like they're, they're good not quality light. stuff that are quite sturdy. Yeah, they're usually so they're quite yeah. usually quite heavy and robust. Yeah. And a lot of awning companies they will give you the heavy yeah, shit because yeah. they don't want that shit to fall off. Yeah. Well, I put the wrong ones on once, and it was not enough for the weight of the awning, and it and it Bent? busted it. Yeah. 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 So you pull your awning out one day, and it just starts tilting down. It's like, oh, oh shit, that's my fault. <laughs> um, that one's not covered because that was genuinely my fault. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. It's it's a serious can of worms. Um, look, my advice for people is. Do your research. Yep. Actually work out where you're going to use the roof rack for because you put a roof rack on your car, 
you got worse fuel economy, you might have wind noise, um, you got two grand you got to fork out, um, you might not be able to fit through to McDonald's drive through you definitely can't go through um, underground car parks anymore. Yeah. Uh, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Where? Uh, Juno Love Hospital. Because oh. the first one says 3.4 metres. I'm like, sweet that, as. That, that's it, yeah. Drove in. And then all the parking spots were taken. So I had to go up <laughs> one level and then you don't see it until you turn and I got stuck under it. That, that's a funny thing. I know another car park that's like that. You, it's like over three. Oh, is that Whitford Shops? No, nah, it's, it's in... Where there's is a few it? shopping centres yeah, like that. Few, yeah, it's like... I reckon it's around BCF in, in um, like, Inaloo. Uh, I reckon you, there's, like, an underground car park around there and you go in and it's, like, oh, three over three, whatever. And then before you even hit the car park, like, it's just... Like, it just drops down to, like, two. two. Oh, shit. And, but there's nothing in between the two markers. <laughs> so, like, you'd think they'd just lower it because it's just, like, the driveway into the joint. Yeah, well, <laughs> you, like, you, you me get to time. that point, but that's as far as... Every time I drive in there, I've been there a million times, I look and go, yeah, you beauty, I'll go underneath, it's hot outside, and then I'm like, oh, shit, it's that one again. <laughs> it gets me every time. I hate that so much. Yeah, it's annoying. I hate yeah, well, you boys so have struggled much. with that more than I would. You're, yeah. you're very hot. I'm actually higher than you now that you've got your... um tent off yeah. my awning sits up a bit higher but uh, the but, awning sits higher yeah, don't you reckon you notice his scrub bars on his on his 76 more than you I didn't I almost didn't know he had them until uh, when you go out there and you have a look at it but since he's taken the tent off I notice oh, the scrub bars way more okay. it's okay. weird I don't know why yeah, no, yeah all, it just doesn't look as big on top all I was looking at because it was tuck, tight car bay was um yeah, I got so close to your car, man. When I was turning, I was like, oh, yeah, my overhang of the tyre got so close to your um, jerry can holder. Oh, oh, the new one. <laughs> what was the wait time on that, actually? On the bar? The Cruiser Company bar, yeah. Asking for a mate. A few months. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, shit. It was a while. Know. Okay. It was a while, but they were good. Like, uh, I was behind, I was further back in the queue and I was like, hey, like, I need this bar by this date. And they were like... Okay, no worries. Like we'll we'll sort something out, and then right. yeah, I got it before the date. It was very close, but yeah, I got it okay. before the date. I got it installed and everything. Right. But they were they were quite good with it. Oh, okay, so yeah. it, was a few it, it was a few months though. I'm Jaden from the Four Drive Podcast. Yeah, I'm that guy, you know. <laughs> well, this was, you know, this was before I was a big shot on this. Part. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think any of us would ever do anything like that. Nah, struggle, that's just so struggle with that stuff. Yeah, nah, that's people all good. do all it the time, man. I, just, I was generally asking for a mate with the 76. Yeah. Uh, he was, the wait time's long, but it's a good bar. And yeah. once you get it on, you know, he actually asked me to, to sort him out a rear bar. I said, mate, it doesn't, Did he? <laughs> doesn't work like that. Bloody hell. He, Come he's on, He's persistent. Mate. He keeps pushing. <laughs> I like it. Um, just to clarify, it wasn't me asking Dougo. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't. Another mate, another mate. Um, all right. So roof racks, advice is do your homework. Find out what the capacity from the manufacturer is spend, of your car. Spend time to do your homework. Yeah justify the rack first yep. then do your homework then justify the yep. grin and there's part of me that's going like oh, like that's just what they reckon it'll be fine and yeah. I th- I'm sure there's a lot of people out there doing that but it's like anything it's until it happens it is all fine yeah, yeah. that one time that it really stuffs up and you yep. slides down the side of your car and rips a paint and smashes a window and yep. lands on someone and it happens it happens uh, if you overload the roof rack regardless Bad shit's going to happen yep. eventually. Um, a, lot, a lot of the ones on the, on the cruisers, they're, they're like clamped on, right? Clamped on to that, um, uh, what do you call it? What's that be called? The, oh, the gutter? The, yeah, the little gutter. The the, yeah, the gutter. World. That's it. The, the gutter on the side. The rust and gutter. The rust, yeah, <laughs> the, the first thing the, that goes on those things. The rust catcher. Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah, why yeah, the so plastic you had a look at my gutters, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, gun shop. When people go down that, oh, yeah. there's a few... Roof racks that are slid off and hit the bonnet and stuff like that, <laughs> uh, and you know it, it happens. And then there's people who put jerry cans and all kinds of stuff on, on the roof, and it's just I, I went through about I went through my backlog of modified um, segments, and I went through all the roof rack stuff, and I was like, oh my god, overloaded, overloaded. Can you YouTube? Overloaded, can you overloaded. YouTube roof racks falling off for me? Roof racks falling off yeah. and just bring it up at gun shop. <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> Yeah, tell can we one. see? Can we see one falling off just to just to really round the point home? You know, there'll be one in particular. But there's one more layer to this too. By the way, I just thought of it now. Pop rivets. <laughs> people people fit roof racks with pop rivets. How'd your brain get there? Um, so just, just, the can well, because I have I have pop rivets right in my roof. Where and, pop and, rivet their roof racks? Where do they? Where do they? Where do they like? 
do that. Better so, than the answer to. So they pull out on the Hilux. They pull out the um, on the track. They pull out the rubber. Yep. And then you put the it's like a oh, like a long yeah, backbone yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And then oh, through there. Pop rivet. Oh, I've never seen that. So the thing is, I pulled mine out. And I drill all the pop rivets out, and a lot of them were gripping on like <laughs> bugger all, man. I was so glad to get it out and. Around that time, some people had lost their roof racks. And I did a video about the whole situation I got myself into and apologised to the public because I didn't know. I honestly didn't know that I was grossly overweight and I was promoting what I the, put on my car. You know, I was talking rack, about it. I was telling people, the hey, rack, this is the, the rack, rack I got. Mean. Yeah, yeah, this is the rack I got and this is what I've done. <laughs> it sounded you like know. you were saying you were grossly overweight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the rack was grossly... <laughs> I, I, I grossly overweighted, yeah. loaded the rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then... All the comments started coming afterwards, you know, like, oh, yeah, I, was, I had a high ace with a roof rack pop rivet and that came off. And just all these people. Like, if you can go back and look at the video and see all the comments, um, there's, there was quite a few. Yeah, there was right. another YouTuber, he, his roof rack actually came off the car. Oh, he, had really? a roof rack, he had a rooftop tent on it. Yep. I think it was a Navara. That came off. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, pop rivets, no, no. Don't so, go there. I had in my mind that, you know, they use pop rivets for airplanes. Yeah, use them on the right thing. They're strong, but that I, I didn't really think about it yep. like that. Yeah. Did you happen to find one, Jaden? Or have you? Give just 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 pad for a few more minutes, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and how much more do you think Ronnie's got on roof racks, Mark? I think he's got a lot on roof racks. He <laughs> called me and said, "I've got I've got heaps on roof racks." So I think he's got a fair bit on roof racks. Yeah, yeah. Is that <laughs> what is the roof rack that you fitted on all your cars? Uh, what now? Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, I've, I've got a front runner roof rack yep. on I've all my cars too. at the moment. Yep. Um, mainly because of the simplicity of it. But the reason why I put it on after my whole debacle and that was because they don't reduce the off road limit. Ah, uh, right. They do have a thing written on the side of it saying um, drive to conditions. Yep. And at that time, um, I had two mates that were working there. Yep. As right. well. So. Um, one of them called me up and said, oh, man, like, just seeing what, all this, you know, like, just let it shout out if you, you know, yep. want us to help out or whatever. And I was like, well, yeah, that would be cool, that actually. Suits, yeah, yeah, yeah I've, I've got the front runner too. I love it. I love it. Yeah. The simplicity is nice. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's probably not like a real nice, sleek-looking one uh, w- with nothing on them. Yeah. But once you put all the stuff on them, yeah. they, they look nice. They're but, so user-friendly as well. Yeah, but that's the main thing. They're user friendly, yeah. so they got they got a track in the top, track in the bottom, track through the middles, yep. and you can pretty much, even though it's a platform, you can do shit everywhere. Yeah. Yep. And the other thing, it doesn't run north to south; it runs east to west. Yep. And when you think about it, you usually strap loads east to west. Yeah. So I'm saying it's running across the car. Um, that was something I didn't even think of. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do love it. Jaden's Jaden's come I up found, with the goods here. I found one. I don't, I don't know if it's the one you're talking about, but I found one. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that one. That does not look good, does that it? Is, uh, visibility would be low, right? Very <laughs> Still low. Still punching it. Yeah, roof. So, <laughs> what kind of car right? is this? Oh, well, he's heads out the window. That's a patrol. Patrol. That so is. It's patrol, for audio listeners, is patrol going down a little ramp into water. It's definitely Kate wow. Yorba. The roof rack just goes straight on. Uh, Every, straight onto the bonnet like everything, straight off the roof onto the bonnet that's, that's crazy so well. everything is attached really well to the roof rack the, just, the yeah, rack yeah. itself not, the not guy, longer the guy. attached to the car well, look at how much stuff is on there he's happy as Larry though look at that yeah, that's yeah. Nice. look at that he took it well eh? <laughs> that's gold he does not care like oh, there's a Dave. tire up there oh, is that a bed a couple uh, of jerry cans yeah yeah I think it might be a lucky... Oh, no, it's a spare tire, man. Yeah, and spare tire there. So that spare oh. tire would be 60 kilos. Those There's an awning up there on the back. Would have some stage been 20 kilos each. So Big heavy, like, dual bars around that roof rack too. Like it's Yeah. There's 100 heavy. kilos in those three items. And, and then the there's, there's an awning on the back. There's, a, there's probably an awning on the left side as well. Water, bo- water, water. Jerry as well. Yeah. It looks like, that looks like a bed frame on top. The fact that he's up there, he's done some wheeling before. So it's probably like we said, it's just that he yeah. got he got unlucky and probably pushed the limits a little bit. Yeah, and then yeah. that's what happens at at some stage. All the corrugation getting there. Yeah, and then going that, down. That, that had to be Cape York, don't you? You might look yeah. at that. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry to Dave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. Sorry, I don't know who I ripped that off. Thank Thank you. You, Dave, like you yeah. caught the roof rack. Yeah, and done a bloody good job. And actually, you took there. it well. Took it really well. Yeah, it good took sport. It really well. And and we all learn. 
which we, yeah is great. Yeah. Anything else, mate? You've got on roof racks, mate. Uh, look, you've got I, heaps I, more. I can go bit. all day, but I think I think the audience of I mean, do you think the listeners covered have enough? have got yeah. enough? I think the the fact that you mentioned go and do your homework. That's the best part. Yeah. Because it's not always in your face. Not something that you're probably going to get told when you're purchasing a car or or a roof rack for that matter. So no. go and do your go and do your research. Yeah, and I guess the other thing as well. Look, roof rack companies have done as much as they can because yep. I don't think – if I was a roof rack company, I probably wouldn't have the balls to go, okay, here are the roof ratings of all these companies. Actually, I probably would actually. I'll put my balls on the line and do that and I'll put a clause saying double check but these are the roof ratings. I would do that if I was a roof rack company. Yeah. So roof rack companies, if you're listening, do it. I dare you. <laughs> What is do you, one one more before we finish on roof racks and we go to around the fire pit? What is do you know off the top of your head on, on the research that you're doing? What has the best capacity, like the highest capacity? The highest capacity um, would be 150 kilos dynamic loads, and that will be in your screen of the year uh, 76 series, 78 series, 200 series. Um, double check these though. Patrol, I believe, is. We found to be 120, right? But maybe the older version can do more. Yep. Uh, the new Y62. Yep. There's a there's a very well known person in the Y62 community who claimed that the roof was 100 kilos. Yep. And um, I didn't want to rely on a non manufacturer's details, so yep. I actually researched it. It was actually less than that. Right. So less than 100. Yeah, it was oh, like yeah. about 80 or something. Oh, okay. 80, 90. It wasn't 100. So it, even though he's claimed to have tested it at 100 kilos, it's not 100 kilos right. from the manufacturer. So um, so just be careful where you get the information from. Yep. Yeah. There you go. So, but 150 dynamic was the best you could 150 find. 150 dynamic is the best I can find, but you really wouldn't want too much more than that up yeah. there. Yeah, that's true. You don't um, like that and carrying that on yeah. and off all the time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. And, and your car's not going to behave the same. Like, you want angles and stuff. Yeah. You know? There's been, I've been on some angles. If I yeah, had, roly poly. If I had an extra swag up there, I probably would have gone, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, gone. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Well done. Yeah. That's pretty good off no, that was all just logged in the head there. Yeah, well, well like, I, I, didn't, recently I, didn't, did. I didn't really prompt you on anything. I just asked questions about what you were talking about. So that was impressive. Yeah, well, yeah. Jaden wanted something. So I was like, well, I <laughs> just. something. Roof rack still stuck in my head, so got this. <laughs> well, it's right. good because your episode came out. Oh, geez, when this comes out, it'll be a few episodes ago. But yeah, few, go check that one ago. out because that'll mm. that's that's a good episode. Yeah. yeah, and some of the numbers I quoted on this podcast uh, may be a little bit out because yeah, it has been. There's a lot of numbers I'm trying to remember. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, definitely go and check out your video for anyone that uh, wants to hear that and. On Duggo taking a massive gulp of water. Sorry, yeah, What yeah. are you, a fish, mate? I'm thirsty. You Jeez. had to keep talking a bit there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me to go cue the I got thing. confused, mate. I was like, why well, don't talk for oh, this long? Right. Cue the fire, though. Let's go to around the fire here. <laughs> he, need, he needs that, um, <laughs> what was that thing called again? Squeeze? Oh, the standard squeeze. Standard squeeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. standard squeeze. Yep. Figure out how much water <laughs> you're having. I might use that as my new drink bottle, the standard squeeze. Keep track of everything. Well, you know how much you're having then, don't you? I've been dehydrated the last couple of um, games that I've played, actually. Ah. Mm. So it might be nice to be yeah. able to keep track. Yeah, Probably that, good that. for you being an athlete to yeah, keep track yeah. of everything. Yeah, yeah. A football one. Yeah, that's yeah. One. Paint it red and all players. So you haven't had enough, mate. Yeah, that actually. It's <laughs> not a bad idea. Get some, get some more snake lollies stop, in here. Stop and... releasing our business ideas. <laughs> 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 all right, what do we got, Jaden? I'll shut the laptop and we'll go to the questions from the listeners and the viewers. All right, so we're still catching up on a few of our questions, but. This is from a few episodes ago, our must-have camping items. Don't know if you boys oh, yeah, remember that one. Yeah. It's a good one. We've got to do that. We yeah. have to do that. We absolutely I'm do. In. So yeah. we've got a few. We've got a few questions or comments. Sean Christie, food, water, axe, fire pit, fridge and battery, tent slash swag, chair and recovery gear. How many was that? Eight. Oh, that, that was our new rule, wasn't it? Eight. That's a good list. I'll, oh. I will use that list. Fridge and batteries combined as one. Oh, so no, you can't use that list. That's that. his list. Oh, no, sorry, mate. Yeah, sorry. I wouldn't go the. Yeah, I wouldn't go to battery and fridge. Yeah. Um, he also says a pillow alternative. If you ever forget it, stuff oh, your clothes okay. in a t-shirt. Stuff your clothes in a t-shirt. Ah, oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pillow alternative. I thought it was quite good. Um, Let's find a sleeping kangaroo. 
Here's a good one. <laughs> Love the show, boys. Uh, this is from Anthony Garzo. Love the show, boys. Always will have a listen if you're shooting the shit. Just have another yarn. He just <laughs> bought a 2019. Pretty much all we do now. It's pretty much all we do. <laughs> and I know we were quite worried about this episode. We kept going, oh, I don't know if anyone's listening now. But <laughs> still obviously, us. there's people still listening. <laughs> uh, he just bought a 2019 76 series, his first Land Cruiser. Gold. Any tips? Ooh. What was the um, series again? 76. 76. Any tips? Check, 1976. Yeah, check, check the roof capacity. Well, we've done right. a few episodes on it. Check check the gutter for rust. Oh. So he's bought it already though? Yep. Just and I wonder it. if it's um I wonder if it's pretty stock. Wants to set Could up be. for like I'm quite uh, it'd be interesting. Yeah. Send us send us through some photos, Anthony. Keep it light. Yeah, keep it light. Keep it light. Keep it simple. That's a good tip. Simple, light. That old car will thank you for it. Convert it to an auto. Love it. No, I actually, I um, expensive. Go and check out Lifestyle Pioneers um, set up in the back of their seventy six. I reckon like that just, one. Just to, um, just to get some yeah good inspiration on the back setup. I really like theirs. There you I'll go. I'll have to check that out. I yeah. like that. Have to have a look. Oh no, what happened? Nothing. Nothing. Um, happened. <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all, boys. <laughs> Come on. Uh, not in top five. Oh, you just rich saved us from eardrum burst. Yeah, rich <laughs> wetting. Not in top five, but pack of cards, always good to take. Oh, and yeah. for me, insect repellent is also high on the list, oh, which so is something we ne- none of us included. Nah, it lives in my car, so I suppose I have, have to strip take that it out. out right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. But but we're going to have to sit down and figure out the rules for this. I know back, it's been back a while. On the, but back on the cards, there are so a cool deck of cards. You can get some of these survival deck of cards. You know, they have all these tips on the back of them or on the face, obviously, because otherwise you can tell what ah. card it is. Um, they're pretty cool, you know, like how to start a fire and things like that. Oh, so it's just, <clears throat> but is it a standard deck of cards still that I can play? Yeah, I've, I've seen them before. You, you yeah, can right. get them. I with, think, a, with a little tip on the back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a bit, bit like, that idea. Yeah, I think the military do them as well. Oh, yeah. I think in the um, Iraq war, actually, they um, the, they had like wanted people on the cards as well. <laughs> oh, no way. Yeah, so they would constantly see these. Wow. That so is smart. Face. It's messed up. Yeah. We should do a four-wheel drive pod. One it's not messed up. It's just crazy that up. that's what they ha- that's what they were doing like, mm. in that mm. time. Actually, wasn't the, it wasn't the Rocky. It was the, um, uh, I think when they were hunting Bin, bin Laden and all that. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just yeah. cards with Bin Laden's face on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it would have been... Get him. So it just feels so weird. Yeah, right. Yeah. That is pretty crazy. Yeah, so he, I think he was like the ace of spades and then they went down from that. So they were like ranked. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Um, last question or last... None of these have really been questions, but they're all, no, they're they're all, all statements. Interactive. Oh, Outback off. Thought of something, thought of something else. Go you on. Could, you could, you know, with those cards. You know, you know the game called Presidents and Assholes? Yeah. You guys, yeah. Be Presidents and Terrors? <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's I want to think of cards. <laughs> <laughs> Good game though, Pres- P's and A's. We oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's a massive game in our, in our household. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's We'd, a big um, plane, tri- uh, plane trip game. Yeah. Too, for the yeah. Oh, cool. On the plane, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to have to jump on one of those planes because yeah. I think I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah. Unless, unless... Pretty good president or a pretty good asshole? <laughs> Well, I usually get stuck there for a while, you know, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you who's bloody good. Oh, if you get stuck there, you don't. My, my wife plays a killer game. Like, she would be falling asleep at a table. There'd be a group of, group of us friends sitting there and we're, like, getting so, like, toasted and shitty because she keeps winning, but she's, like, literally falling Doesn't asleep. Doesn't want to be there, chair, but just can't stop winning. And she just keeps... She goes, well, Must look, be someone nice. else can be the president. You know, it's like, no, no, no. We nah, want to win it fair and square. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It gets pretty tetchy, eh? Yeah. Jeez, sounds and like you can't leave intense. if you're the asshole either. Like, yeah, yeah. If you're down there for yeah. like four or five goes and you're just like, yeah. oh, I just want to go back to my seat. You can't leave. Yeah. And then after 10 goes, people start pitting you and yeah. that just, nah. <laughs> I am rising myself. <laughs> Do you know the game, Jaden? Uh, no, I nah, haven't played, haven't played much of it. Good game. Oh, we'll have yeah. to have a game. Yeah, we could do. Four drive podcast game. Um, Outback Off-Road NT G'day boys Trying to send a pick for Rig With the most unnecessary mods This was a while ago And we just haven't had anything to actually display them on But here's a photo Oh Is that a Land Cruiser? It's a Land Cruiser Oh this is Yeah this is from ages ago Yeah It's not his No nah. but He's just sending through some photos with um, <laughs> Cars that have got um, The most amount of unnecessary mods on them I'll tell you what though I'd, I I'd, think that's I'd, pretty cool I don't mind it No I don't mind it at all So which BNS was that at? Yeah <laughs> <laughs> That is Yeah that is something else And here's the I wonder BNS. where that is Well For the, for the audio listeners This is a 
79 series? Se- yeah. 79. 75, 75 trying yeah. to look like... 75? With, yeah, with... Trying to look like a Mack truck. Yeah. Trying to look it like does, a... And it's done it's a bloody good trying. job it's of it. It looks, it, like it looks exactly At like a Mack truck. At first look, I thought it was a de- genuine truck. Yeah. It's got yeah. the double double stacks and lower, lower truck. It does. It <laughs> how's good. it? How's the two snorkels and the two du- like? Yeah, two double stacks, yeah. two snorkels, um, huge, huge amber light on top. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're driving around like that normally. That looks like it. You just know where that's going? Off. That's going to the Deniliquin Ute Muster, the yeah, Denny Ute Muster. Yeah, that that is exactly. Yep. That's the. I reckon that's front and center. Probably right. At the Denny and Ute this one. Oh, you're not gonna like that, Ronnie. It's another seventy series. Is that the same thing? It might be the same thing. It looks like the start of it. It does. Oh, it doesn't have the same number It's got plate, a different though. number plate. Or maybe it's the owner's second car. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is the daily. This is the daily. <laughs> but look at the, um, the windscreen thing. That, even that looks... That's well, yeah, let, looks let's trucking. explain it for the audio listeners, boys. What are we oh, looking it's, at? Yeah, it's, it's, it was another Cruiser. 75. And oh, the wheels are the most disgusting thing on this. Yeah, they're... they're like I don't highway, even know how to explain that one. Really. Highway no. terrain, they look like spinner wheels It's got almost. the double stacks again, two snorkels. Um, a lot of chrome. A, yeah, chrome bull bar. i tell you what, though. Outback um, off-road like NT, is that, that's the... Yeah. Um, yep. he, he's got a decent little channel too, doesn't he? I had a look Yeah. after we mentioned him last time. Definitely. Oh, uh, the, and he, and the, he's, the, oh the V8. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. new V8. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. I like it. Up in... yeah. Uh, NT Yeah Very good Well yeah NT. NT Yeah He's done a fair few Ks on that already eh? Oh really mm. I mean like 30,000 or something oh, Something right. crazy man Oh it's good He's a good little contributor To the, um, yeah, to the podcast Which yeah. is Thank great Always much. comes in with some good questions And good things in, to mate. look at So yeah Keep, keep yeah, them coming Please we do, love please do. Um, That is all I've got boys No worries Beautiful How'd we go there Did we put, it, put together was, a decent enough podca- podcast That was so quick for? How do you guys feel oh, I mean I, I learned something I learned something that's, Ronnie, that's all did I you learn anything? Yeah, I think I learned something. <laughs> he was the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I think I learned something. Yeah, um, <laughs> stand, stand and squeeze. Learn yeah. about that. Yeah, the stand and squeeze. Yeah, learn about his new Raptor. Yes. Yeah, I wonder how it's going. I learned that it wasn't a live, live feed. No, yeah, it wasn't a live, <laughs> yeah. live feed. <laughs> Would have been pretty good though. Yeah. <laughs> You're happy with the, the, the Raptor as well. Like I was like, oh, so you you actually got one as well? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were too onto us at the start. He shouldn't have told you at all. Yeah, he was yeah. way too onto but us at the start. But then we excited. almost had him, yeah. Yeah. No, well, no, no. All good. I would love a raptor though. That'd be nice. The new raptor. The new raptor. It's nice. You want one? Oh. You wouldn't say no. Nah. No. No, okay. They're a good looking car. <laughs> we we know someone who's getting one soon though. The new Raptor? Yeah. Who? Nick. Oh, he's got it. He's got it Yeah, now. he's got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's I've, got it. I've hit him up for a test drive, mate. I have a, I've had a drive, yeah. Yeah? yeah. What's it like? It's, it's pretty impressive, actually. Yeah. Nice. It is pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big car that gets going. Do you rate it better than what you yours is at the moment? Like oh, drive-wise. Drive drive-wise? Drive wise? Yeah. Way better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. World, world of Difference? Um, oh, just the like power on tap, like the V6 petrol, um, all the modes on it as well. How many, how many blockies did you do? Oh, we, <laughs> more or less than like, we, like, well, the Yeah, the dinner was on the way sort of thing and the girls were like waiting for us and we were just driving around looking at nice houses in our nice new car and I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty happy just down and about. Um, in, in our nice new car. But it is, it is good. But again, I don't know about the price. Okay. What, how for, much for what it is? I reckon they'd be they're close to a hundred. They're in the nineties, I think. Yeah. I haven't got it in front of me. I, like that, you know. If I was doing that, I'd still probably go me my Land Cruiser. Yeah. Just and that's just me personally. That they are a, they are a wicked car. Which though. Land Cruiser though? Uh yeah. I just like I'd, the V eight for me still. Yeah. Okay. I'm still, still. So I'm you're, still you're talking two hundred or seventy? Seventy probably. Yeah. I, I I do look at two hundreds as well, yeah. but seventy. Because I'm gonna say two hundred will be. More than yeah, the two hundred second hand. Yeah. <laughs> there are some good two hundreds out there that have done one hundred and fifty, but you, you know, you get only the GX or the GX. What are they going for? You can find some in like the sixties and seventies. Oh really? Yeah. Raptors are about yeah. ninety. Yeah. yeah well, I can, things are coming down a bit, aren't they? A little bit. It's yeah. not too bad. Yeah. I, I can find you a decent two hundred for, but you just got to be happy with the GX model. Or the, or the GXL. Uh, there you go, listeners. If you want a new car, Doug will find it for you. Yeah, if you need, if you need, he'll find you a good one. I, I don't charge much. 
to do the work. The, uh, the unofficial sp- spokesman of car sales. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, uh, on my LinkedIn profile, oh, car sales. Mate. Anyway, <laughs> volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see it out. Southern River Band, Let It Ride, 4 Drive Podcast on Instagram. All of our episodes over on Backchat. And to our patrons, thank you very much for your support. 4 Drive Podcast from Ross Shelter. Toodaloo. <laughs>